Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Mama Angel's Kitchen. It is Thursday evening, and I've got a quick and simple meal for us tonight. This is one of my pantry staples. When I don't feel like cooking, but we need to eat, I go into my pantry, and I've always got these ingredients in here. What we're making tonight is a potato and spam hash. It's delicious, guys, okay? Let's get right into these ingredients that we're going to be needing tonight. I've got two cans, and this is 15 ounces of diced potatoes, okay? Got two cans of those. I've got one can of the turkey Spam. Spam comes in all kinds of flavors, and I love the turkey one. Then we're going to need some veggies, and I got a... A, a green and an orange bell pepper and then half of a this is probably a large onion so about half of a large onion and if you'll notice I've got everything diced really small okay really small even the peppers the reason for that is and I'll give you a close-up of the potatoes when I drain them but if you notice that can there, picture on the can, those potatoes are very small. So I want everything right around the same size as those potatoes, including my Spam, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, getting ahead of myself. We are gonna need some spices tonight. The spices we're gonna use are my normal suspects, guys. Maggie Pollo. Saison, okay, my garlic and onion powder, salt and pepper. The other thing I've got here, I've got one egg. I'm going to put an egg on top of my hash when it's all done, okay, a nice fried egg. Let's open up this Spam, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to dice this Spam, and you just pop the top off of it just like that. For those of you who've never heard of Spam or haven't tried Spam yet. Um, and we get this baby right out of here onto the cutting board. Come on. There we go. Just like that. I'm going to cut him, turn him over and slice it into slices just like this. Now this Spam, guys, it's already cooked. You can eat it right out of the can. And it smells good. I, I love all the Spam. They've got the jalapeno. They've got teriyaki. All right. Then I'm going to take these slices here, probably stack them a couple like that, and just go right down like that. And right back again like that. Okay, so then my spam chunks are about, you know, about that size. Okay. All right, I'm going to finish getting this done, and I'll meet you over at the stove, and we're going to go ahead and saute up this spam and get it nice and crispy on all sides of it. All right, I'll be back. All right, everybody, here we go. We're over at the stove, and let me show you if I can. I'm not sure if you can see a good shot of that or not. But that's only about a tablespoon of vegetable oil down in here in the skillet. And I've got this on a medium high. And all I want to do is get a nice little sear onto this spam. Okay? Spam does not need any seasoning. It's completely seasoned and ready to go. All on its own. Okay? I'm just going to get this in a single layer here. So hopefully all pieces of Spam are touching. Okay, while our Spam is going, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these potatoes. Alright, we're going to dump them right down here in the strainer. I use two cans of potatoes. To one can 
of spam. Okay. Dump them right in there. And then we're going to give them a rinse with cold water to get some of that starch off of them. Because they're still nice and starchy. Okay. And then we're going to sit them down here in the sink and let them dry. All right, let's see what kind of browning or texture we've got on my spam here. Hopefully it's not sticking too bad. Oh yeah, we got we got some color. Look at that. That's what we want right there. Okay. Some of it's sticky, but that's okay. Use your spatula, loosen it up, give it a little bit of a flip, and get as much more color as you can, and then. We'll take it out, and I'll be back with the potatoes. All right, we've got the spam out. Let me give you a look-see at that. It's all nice and browned up. I've got that sitting aside here, and I put, I didn't even wash the skillet out, so I want all those little bits from the spam. That's flavor. And I put another tablespoon of oil down in, down in our skillet. And I'm going to go ahead and dump these potatoes in there. I'm going to dump them away from me because I am. All right, get them in there. Can't get them completely dry, okay? I'm going to go ahead and get of that oil mixed around on them. Every potato oil. Okay. The fire is still on a medium high. I'm going to let these potatoes sit and let them get brown on the other side and flip them. Okay, we've got some brown on these potatoes. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, they're not going to brown as much as fresh potatoes would, but see that? That's what you want, some of that nice crispiness there. All right, and look how they cook down. You see how much more potatoes we have here? Now you will get a better browning on this. I should have used my cast iron skillet as opposed to um, my nonstick, which is typically what I do, but that's okay. I still got enough browning here. Okay. Next is our veggies. And I'm probably not going to use, you know, that whole plate of veggies here. Let's start with the onions. Sprinkle them in there like that. Get in there with some of the green bell peppers with, and some of that orange. Let's see, a little bit more. I think that might be enough. Let's give that a mix. Oh, that's beautiful. Guys, I wish you could smell this. That smells so good. So good. All right, let's go in with some of our seasoning. A little bit of onion powder. A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit more. Some Maggi Pollo. Some Sazon. Some pepper, a little bit more pepper, and a little bit of salt. That's enough. All right, let this go. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna go in. That's enough. Okay, that, that's enough right there. I want to end up with a, <laughs> a plate of veggies. All right, we'll let that go for just a few minutes. And the reason I put those veggies in right at the end here is because I don't want them cooking down to mush. All right, let's add our Spam in. Oh boy. Oh boy, give that a nice mix. Put 
then spam in there just long enough to heat it back up. And you've got yourself potato and spam hash. Isn't that beautiful? Man, that's beautiful. All right, guys. I'll be back with a plate. Hey, right, guys. I forgot about the egg. Got to have an egg on it. You'll see I've got a little bit of vegetable oil in my little cast iron skillet here. The best skillet for making a single egg. And it's about, you know, take a good tablespoon of oil because I am frying this baby. Should be good and hot for me. And I like to put just a little bit of butter for flavor in my fried egg. Look at that baby go. Okay. As soon as that butter gets completely melted, which we are there, go ahead and crack my egg in it. And I like my egg. Ah, come on. There we go. I like mine uh, fried hard. So, let me just rinse off my hands. Okay, I like it fried hard, which means I like my yolk all the way cooked. So, for those of you who like your sunny side up or egg over easy, you know, cook your egg the way you like it. If you want an egg on your hash, which I think is just delicious. I really do. And it's, you know, the way hash is supposed to be eaten, <laughs> in my opinion. It's just a little salt and pepper I'm putting on there, okay? No big deal there. All right. And I'm gonna let that go. All right. That's gonna take a little bit because like I said, I want it cooked hard. So. Just throw in some of that oil up here on top of the egg. You see how it starts to crisp around those edges? I'm not sure if you can see it yet, but see that crisp there? I love that. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's break that yolk. Oh, look at there. Yeah. See if we can give it a beautiful flip. Oh, baby. Look at that. That's a beautiful hard fried egg, guys. All right. All right, guys. Here it is. Here it is. Boy, is that beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at that. That egg is beautifully fried just the way I like it. Now, like I said, if you guys like your your yolk runny, go ahead and cook your egg the way you like it. And then, you know, you pop that egg and let all that beautiful yolk run over your hash. But that's it right there. That is potato hash or potato and spam hash with a fried egg on top of it. Oh, this is beautifulness, y'all. It really is. Let's get on in here and give this a try. Oh, this is one meal I just love. It's quick, it's simple, it is absolutely delicious. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I lost my spam. Mm. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> you get every flavor. You get the potato, you get the spam, you get the onion, you get the green peppers, that orange bell pepper in there. You get every flavor out of this. There's nothing that is missing out of this, okay? Just absolutely nothing. 
Here, come on. Let's go in there one more time. One more time. Get some of that bell pepper on there. Come on, baby. Look at that. Okay, don't go in there then. Mm -hmm. Got some onion, bell pepper. Look at that. And it's falling off the fork. <laughs> that's so good, y'all. Oh, that's so good. Let's see what this egg looks like. Man, oh, it's perfect. It is perfect. Just perfect. Just the way I like my fried eggs. Okay, look at this. If you don't like that runny yolk, but you would like to have a fried egg, this is how you do it. Exactly like I did, okay? The yolk is beautiful. Okay? And then you've got the brown or the crispy, you know, browned, that, that uh, the white part. Oh, it's so good, y'all. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Home run. Home run. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. A mm. mm. little bit of everything in my mouth with the egg. <laughs> That's perfect, guys. Perfect. All right. Mm. Absolutely love this one. Love it. Hope you'll give it a try. If you like this one, guys, come on, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, come on, join in. Mom Angel's keeping them coming. To my new subscribers, welcome. Welcome into Mama Angel's Kitchen. And thank you, every last one of my subscribers, for your love and your support. I really appreciate every last one of you guys. I really do. All right, guys, I'm going to go. Finish my dinner tonight. I love you. Stay prayed up. I'll see you soon in my next video. Good night.